The province of Alberta owns and operates four fish hatcheries, one of which is the Allison Creek Brood Station situated in the Crow's Nest Pass. Alberta's Brood Trout Station's main job is to supply our two provincial fish hatcheries with quality eyed trout eggs while maintaining strong genetics. Each station also raises some trout to stock into a wide diversity of local lakes, ponds and reservoirs. To accomplish this in perpetuity, it's critical to maintain the best genetic purity available in a closed genetic lineup. Alberta Brood Trout Stations employ a three-line genetic cross to slow inbreeding through generations. We pick up the genetic loop as the eggs have hatched and fish reared to juvenile age at the brood station. These are about a year old. Each genetic line has been reared independently to this stage in separate troughs and circulars. At the juvenile age, individuals are clipped to their genetic line as identified through genetic tracking. These juveniles are first sedated. One lot will have its adipose fin clipped and become known as Lot A. The next lot will have its maxillary clipped and become known as Lot B for bite and the third lot is left complete and is known as Lot C. All genetic lines in males and females can now be brought together and raised in rearing units at the brood station, making feeding and caring for them streamlined over the next two years to sexual maturity. Fast forward to their sexual maturity year and it's determined the brood line adults are ripe. Males and females are separated into different pond sections. In a labor-intensive process, the fish are sorted once a week during the spawning season. As each female and male has their eggs and milk expressed and collected, it's identified as to its A, B or C genetic line and grouped together. During egg expression, about 200 eggs from each female are collected and placed in a separate small bowl. As the A, B and C line melt is collected, the appropriate genetic crossings are made and the eggs fertilized. The eggs are fertilized by crossing A-line females with B-line males, B-line females with C-line males, and C-line females with A-line males. The remaining eggs and milt are collected to supply the province's general fish stocking requirements. The fertilized eggs are then transferred to incubation cubes marked with their new genetic line identified as A, B or C. The eggs are incubated until the eyed egg stage where 20 to 30 eggs from each female are selected. The new genetic line eggs are then separated into incubation trays and hatched and grown until they are large enough to clip. <laughs> 